I hope the musicians don't outdo the dancers. Hey guys, don't forget to check out the benefits of becoming a Street Smart Swing member. You get access to the Lindy Hop Blueprint, which is my success system that helps dancers really understand the core principles that make Lindy Hop work fundamentally. Once you can grasp what master dancers understand, in many cases it took them years. Personally, it took me over 10,000 hours to figure this stuff out. You will be able to grasp the principles of Lindy Hop at your current level, which will ultimately put you in the driver's seat to fix your own dancing without always having to need a teacher. So check out the benefits in the description below. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin. Subscribe below so you don't miss any of my reactions. Now I'm going to be taking a look at a competition at an event called Uptown Swing Out. The format will be improvised, it's a Jack and Jill format, and I can't wait to see how these dancers improvise to this band. This band is phenomenal, and if you guys don't know anything about Naomi and her Handsome Devils, I would encourage you guys to check out their music. It's super good for fast dancing, for slow dancing, for mid-tempo. It's just all around a great band and the music you definitely want to have in your collection of swing music. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. Okay. Oh man.
Hey. See? Told you. The band did exactly what I wanted them to do. They were really solid. They were awesome. So don't forget to check them out. I do have to give it up for every dancer who competed in this competition. It is not easy getting up in front of an audience to a live band and performing your best without feeling nervous and messing up a little bit. That's totally okay. So big shout out for all of you who had the guts to get out there and do this. Now, the couple that really stood out to me the most in terms of what I was looking for was the very first couple. I feel both of their sets demonstrated a superior control of the most basic Lindy Hop techniques and they did it slightly better than their competitors. Now, I really appreciate how they both didn't overdo it when it came to like being able to perform at their highest level of excitement. They didn't outdo each other. I didn't feel like the leader was trying to upstage his partner. And I didn't feel like the follower was trying to do her own thing, regardless of what the leader was suggesting. They really flowed so well together in a way where I felt they were just social dancing more than performing, which is a really good thing if that's what you're looking for. But I will say in this case, I kind of feel that was also slightly their drawback. Since the band was so good and so engaging and entertaining, I felt like I wanted this couple to perform a little bit more flashy moves. And I know that's hard to do under pressure, but I felt like that was the only component really missing. But the strength that they had actually outdid everybody else in my opinion. So I, I gotta give them a big shout out for having superior control of the technique. So overall, they were my favorite couple. So who is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.